This week's tip is meeting the client's expectations and know what is important to your clients. Every single bride is different. All the grooms are different. They're different people. Their expectations are different. So in the final meeting, I always ask the bride and groom, would you like to eat something, even if it's just the appetizers before you're announced into your reception? Because once you're announced, everyone's gonna talk to you and it's gonna be over. You're not really gonna have a minute to sit and eat. And I had one couple that said, no, 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 we don't wanna eat. We'll eat before the ceremony and then please have us to go food, which I always fix, and have to go food in our boat because they were leaving on a, in a boat with a fireworks display. So, you know, I said, okay, that sounds great. So that's what was on the timeline. We had to go food in their boat towards the end of the night. The boat was ready. They were gonna eat when they got on the boat. That was the plan. So I did exactly that, exactly what we talked about. And as we were cleaning up about 30 or so minutes in, into breakdown, the groom called and said, where's our food? And I said, well, it's on the boat where you had asked me to put it. And he said, oh, actually, we didn't eat it on the boat. We're in the hotel room now. We completely forgot it. So I had someone get the boat, pull it back out. We went down there, and unfortunately, the food had ants. It had bugs um, from where we sat it in the boat, and the kitchen was closed. We were in the middle of nowhere. It was a beautiful park and be with beautiful ponds, but unfortunately there was no food to be found. In the kitchen, they couldn't just fire it up. Everybody was gone. So needless to say, the groom was very upset and very aggravated. And again, I had apologized to them. Going back and looking back now, I should have fixed two plates of food and put one in their hotel room, one in the boat, and at least have known that if you're in the middle of nowhere building a wedding on a park or on an island or wherever you may be, always hold extra food and cake and desserts aside for the bride and the groom because it was such an empty feeling for me. I felt horrible at the end of the night knowing that they had not eaten. But again, my suggestion is always to eat something before you're announced, still send to go food, but have enough food so that if you need it in two places, you're covered. Did you like this video? If you did, like it, subscribe, and share it with your friends. You can even leave me a comment, and if you have a wedding planning question, send it my way. If you want even more great resources to create a productive and profitable wedding planning business, plus some email updates from me that I only talk about in my email, come on over to my website, angelaprofit.com, and be sure to sign up for email updates. Thank you so much for tuning in to Productive and Profitable Wedding Planning on APTV.